my mother's Patty O'Connell, and my niece was is Alexis O'Connell. Michelle O'Connell was my sister. I have to use was because now it's past tense. Four years ago, Michelle lost her life. It was taken. We're asking State Attorney Larissa to please order a coroner's inquest and follow through with the recommendation of FBLE that says the manner of death was consistent with homicide, not more so than suicide. So far, an unresponsive Governor Scott has not gotten involved, has chosen not to get involved. We ask that he gets involved and to be transparent. We would think that the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office would like some transparency also and show that by ordering a coroner's inquest if they have nothing to hide. There is a witness, sworn affidavit. My name is Danny Harmon. My date of birth is 3575. I'm over the age of 18 of the sound mind. I am the former owner of St. Augustine, Florida Ring of Fire Bar, which is located on Anastasia Boulevard. I became acquainted with Jeremy Banks, the sheriff's deputy with the St. John's County Sheriff's Department, as a frequent patron of my bar. On many occasions, I would have to ask Mr. Banks to leave my bar due to his excessive drinking and rowdy behavior. On the evening following the death of Michelle O'Connell, Mr. Banks patronized my bar with friend John Mallow. Mr. Mallow informed me privately of Michelle O'Connell's passing and asked me to be lenient with Mr. Banks' behavior in light of the situation. Because this is live, there's a word that she would just use a pseudonym for. Yes, sir. As I served Mr. Banks drinks, I heard him say, that B got what she deserved. Mr. Banks went on to state, all she did was make me feel bad and I'm not going to let her ruin my life. By his statements, I grew immediately suspicious that Mr. Banks had something to do with O'Connell's death. As I waited to hear the outcome of the investigation, I would later learn that Mrs. O'Connell's death would be ruled a suicide. As the O'Connell family questioned the death, I knew I must come forward with my information because I believed that Jeremy Banks had something to do with Miss O'Connell's death. Right now, there's a version of this story you haven't heard by an agent of the year, FDLE Agent Rogers. He's not been able to tell his side. One day he will be able to tell his side. And when that day comes, the integrity of him will be restored and there will be some apologizing that will have to be done.